A perforated cut is when a vinyl cutter will use the blade to cut a dashed line all the way through the backer of your material, allowing you to pop out the final product with ease. Creating a perf cut inside Vinyl Master is easy and can be done in just a few seconds. Any cut line or design that you've created inside Vinyl Master or any file that's been vectorized can be converted into a perf cut by selecting the line or object and then moving your mouse cursor over to the right side to the Quick Cut Selection Tools icon. Clicking this will bring down a drop down menu and from here you can select Perf Contour. This will then turn it into a bright green cut line and then we're ready to move it around our sticker design and kiss cut line. With everything in place, we just want to copy and paste everything until we have enough to fill our 8 by 11 inch sheet used for this example. With nothing selected, you then want to move your cursor up to the apple and then select the second option, the contour cut wizard. This will bring up the contour cut wizard pop-up and we've covered this first tab in our previous video about printing and cutting on Vinyl Master and you can check that out later if you need to. But for now, we just want to head over to the print options tab so that we can adjust the settings on the perf cut line. Once we're in the print options tab, we just want to move our attention down to the cursor and the bottom part of the pop-up. Here you can see we have the cut contour and the perf contour cut lines that we can edit. The contour cut line is fine left on default and will use whatever speed and pressure settings you have set on your cutter. But because we're wanting the perf cut to cut through the backer, we will need to select it with our cursor and then click the edit button right below it. This will bring up a new pop-up window and here we want to change a few options. The very first thing you'll be doing is selecting the correct blade preset. For this example, we're using a 45 degree blade. And once we've got the correct blade selected, you then want to move down to where you can see the cutting force options. And we want to check the box beside that. This will now allow us to enter a number for the pressure. And usually it's good to start at double or triple whatever pressure you're using to perform the kiss cut. And then finally, we want to select the dash cut as the cutting option in the bottom left hand corner of the pop-up. This will then open up the dash perforation options and here we can set the dash length and the gap width. I personally suggest keeping the gap lengths around 0.5 to 0.2 millimeters and the dash around 2 to 4 millimeters for best results. Once everything is set, click apply and then you're ready to print the sheet and then load it into your vinyl cutter just like you were finishing any other print and cut design like normal.